Okay, in this video we're going to cover two items. One is making sure that we have the correct scale in Bluebeam so when we take a length it's matching the scale on the page and then secondly is going to be the difference between length and dimension in Bluebeam. So let's tackle the first one, scale. Most sheets will have a scale at the bottom of the, of the page and so it's just easiest to go find that and then plug that in. So in this case we have 330 seconds inch equals one foot. So let's go up to our ruler and, and our scale. And let's just type that in. Let's go 3 30 seconds inch equals 1 foot. And let's adjust our precision to, let's say, 16th of an inch. Sounds good. So let's zoom back out and let's go find a dimension, a known dimension on the sheet. And let's just check ourselves. So let's go up back up here to our length dimension, our length tool. Grab that. Make sure that content is checked, so we're uh, snapping to content on the page. And there we go, 35, 10 and a half. Looks pretty good. And but it looks awful small, so let's, let's go ahead and let's kind of uh, adjust that. Go to our properties and just make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for us to see. Hey, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we know that the scale is looking good, but what if for some reason the drawings that you have aren't correct? So let's just kind of go out of that. Let's go back to our ruler. Let's just kind of reset. Sometimes you do get drawings that aren't quite to scale. So what would you do? Well, Bluebeam has it. It's called Calibrate. So come down here, click on Calibrate, and it's going to pop up a screen saying select two points to calibrate measuring tool. So again, let's make sure that content is checked and let's put it in there, there, and then we would simply type in the known dimension, 35 foot, 10 and a half inch. And then how would we check it? Go to our length, click, click, check. It's looking pretty good. And let's make that size a little bit bigger again. Looks good. Okay, so the so now that we know that we're calibrated correctly, let's, let's put this into action. Sometimes we'll have a dimension in the field and you're doing some as-builts of existing conditions. For example, let's take a point from here to here. It's not snapping to that, so let's try here to here. 48 foot 3 and 3 quarters, if you can see that. So the problem is, out in the field, those guys told me that it's 48 foot and 2 inches, not 3 and 3 quarters. Okay, well, I need to turn this into the architect and tell him that. So let me just go ahead and, and type that in. Kind of double click there. Maybe zoom in to help, uh, help see it. So it's a 48 foot 2 inches. Okay, looks good. Well, what happened is if you'll notice when you go from left to right, this is going to be the end point. Notice that it moved. So it's really not showing 48 foot 2, you know, from inside corner to inside corner. It's really off just a little bit. You know, sometimes that might be okay if you're really in a rush. But Bluebeam does have another tool called Dimension. So let's just kind of leave this up here for now. Now what it has for dimension, nah, we'll just get rid of it. For dimension, it's a shape. And on my default shape tools, it's not here. So if you need to go find that, just run up here, right click, and go to customize. Come down here to our shapes panel, and you'll see dimension right here. Let's check it. And notice that it popped up. So now let's try the dimension tool. So when we go to dimension, let's do our snap again, and our snap again, and notice it doesn't pop up a dimension. It's asking you what do you want it to be. So you can say whatever I want. So in this case, what we said was 48 foot 2 inches. And you'll notice that 48 foot 2 inches is going 
from inside corner to inside corner. And it's fully, you can also just put this in like it's a field dimension. And therefore you can uh, turn that into the architect. So there we've covered calibrating our sheet so we know that we're taking lengths at the correct scale but also we went over dimension so you can accurately show where you're dimensioning from and maybe showing a field dimension. So I hope that helps you.